Uh, oh, we're back to Jody's. Oh, Connecticut loves us. Connecticut loves us. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Rising Star to the Ridiculous Decorative Daves are on the path to success. Very, very exciting things happening here with the band. Last time, of course, we won a battle of the bands. And it wasn't even close. We just wrecked the other bands. Demonstrably and savagely wrecked them and won the battle of the bands. What that translated into was, first of all, a heck of a lot of money. We won over $2,000 for that. So we finally got the van repaired. I know Brad is very, very excited about that. It's kind of his van. It's not, but he likes to think that it is. So we got the van repaired. That works now. And even more excitedly, we've hired a manager. Now, his, ma his name may be Simon Alcaraz, but we know it's actually Penj from the Geek Cupboard. Penj from the Geek Cupboard is our manager. Unfortunately, I can't rename Simon to that, but in our minds, it is Penj at the Geek Cupboard who is our manager. Not a very good manager. Uh, his reputation is terrible, and um, he, but he works cheap, so we're, we're going to kind of roll with that. And right now, he's trying to find some local gigs for us so we can do our own shows rather than teaming up with other bands. We do have several gigs coming up in the near future. So what we need to do is practice our new song. So last time we wrote My Ankles Thank You, which is kind of uh, Alicia's song about her new shoes now that she doesn't have to wear heels when she performs. But we're not very good at it yet. We're actually pretty terrible at it. So let's just get a little bit of practice in on that overnight. Just one day of practice, please. I've got a bit of a plan for the week here. We all get some XP. Oh, Simon. Oh, excuse me, Penj. What, what's up? You've been booking local gigs. Wow, we've got our first gig already. We're only going to make 27 bucks, but we're in there. We're in there. It's the opening slot. Okay. Um, Penj, that's not actually much better than the gigs we've been doing, but you know, I appreciate your, um, your enthusiasm. Wait, this is in Connecticut. We, we got to travel for this one. Oh, good thing we got the van repaired. Okay, wait, and, and Penj has got another gig for us in New York. We're, are we going on tour? I, I think we're going on tour. All right, uh, May is going to be very, very busy for the Ridiculous Decorative Daves. Okay, I didn't plan on going on tour. Great job, Penj. I mean, they're terrible gigs, but hey, we're, we're getting out there. Okay, we've got a lot to do. Um, right, let me... Let me figure out how all this is going to go down. Oh, this is just rather silly. We've got to be Friday in Connecticut and Saturday in Boston. That's very achievable. Actually, they're not that far away. You could easily drive that. That's no problem. Uh, but that's, um, I have no idea how long the game thinks it takes to drive from Connecticut to Massachusetts. I know how, I, I actually know how long that is. I've driven that, but I don't know how long the game thinks that takes. And then in a couple of weeks, we got to be in New York City. Who? All right. Uh, we have a lot to do this week then. Do we have to buy gas and stuff like that? I don't know. I'm going to go do a side job and just kind of have a think about things. Well, while I was tooling around in the van, I went out to the world map just to see how long this is going to take. And we're, we're using some good real world geography here. That's pretty accurate. Travel time, zero days. Yeah, you can zip up to... Connecticut from Boston. How long to get to New York? Zero days. Okay. So at bare minimum, we can do our Connecticut gig and be back in time for the uh, the Boston one. That's good. Uh, let's. I, I queued up a side gig and then I got very excited. Yeah, I know. I know the world map. I keep going off the map. Sorry. Um, let, let's just get to our job here. Well, one quick side job later and we're up 300 bucks and I wanted to pop into a music store. Now that I've got a little bit of free cash floating around here. Let's see if there's anything better I can get. So my keyboard right now is just a plus one on songwriting. It's not very good, but the keyboards are very, very expensive. What else could we get around here? Yeah, see, this is a plus three on playing and a plus four on stage presence. That's what we need right now, that stage presence. Anything better than that? Because that's looking really tasty right about now. No, three on songwriting, two on stage presence. Actually, I like the songwriting boost, but where was my um, 
uh, the, the good, really good one there. Yeah, plus three on playing, plus four on stage presence. I... It's a lot of money, but I'm going to buy that. I think that's a good, good thing to get. And can I... I actually don't know. Can I sell my other one? Can I just get rid of that? I can. Okay, good. Because I don't really need that. This is demonstrably better. So I can... Wait, I can name the keyboard? Wow, that's cool. I can't name the manager, though. Come on, that's the one thing I wanted to name in this game was the manager. All right, well, there you are. Anyone else need some gear? Now, Alicia, you've got two microphones, and they do the same thing. So they're both plus four on songwriting. So we don't really need the one that's just plus four on songwriting. We may as well have the one that's plus four and then plus three on stage presence. So sell that out. Now, did I... Oh, Alicia gets the money. Okay. I was going to say, I didn't get the money for that. Alicia gets the money. All right, that's that's broadly fair. I know, uh, Ashton, you've kind of got a collection of bases going on here. I'm going to let you keep it for right now. I know I know you're really keen on that. And Brad, we haven't really... Um, what's your drum kit do? Oh, quite good. Playing, songwriting, and stage presence. Yeah, don't mess with success, man. That's good stuff. Uh, Rebecca, what's your guitar like? You are plus five on stage presence. All right, that is really, really good. That is super, super good. What I think we should do is repair everything. So I am going to... Ooh, yeah. Re ooh, wow, that repair all. That's going to be a lot of money. Okay, maybe we won't, just, just for the moment. Unfortunately, there's no concerts to see tonight. Nobody is playing until Friday, which is unfortunate. I wanted to get our inspiration up, but we may as well, if we're going uh, basically out on tour, we may as well keep practicing here. Uh, throw in my ankles, thank you, and you know what? Let's just tap out not good enough to manage. Uh, comment section we're saying several times, you know, just get everything up to 100 because you never know what might be an air quotes hit song. I guess there's a random chance for any of our songs to be a hit. So let's just throw those three in and let's do, you know what? Let's just get through to the gig. I, I want to get our inspiration up. I do, but we're not, we're probably not going to be writing any new songs right now. I want to get through basically the next two gigs. So I'm going to give us three days of practice. We're going to jam all this out. We get a ton of XP. I would not mind seeing some level ups coming up before we got to go to the gig, but I don't think that's going to happen. So Rock Your Face Off featuring Brad. Not our best song, not our worst, but not our best song. We can play that. And my ankles, thank you, at 88. I really want to get that bumped up to 100. I want to take that one out on tour because I have no idea. Actually, I say I have no idea. Do I have any idea? I totally have an idea. Okay, so we need to take six songs to Connecticut. All right, fair enough. And how about the one at Lauren's Bar? That's six. All right. We had that gig last time where we had to do nine songs. This is six. Okay, well, and that's another Battle of the Bands. <laughs> All right, we've got a good history with that. And New York City... That's another six songs. All right, so we're, we're doing six songs for all of these gigs. That's totally cool. In that case, I am going to... I'm going to take this one off because we played at 100, and I'm going to do one more day of practice. We're going right to the gig. I'll probably do a side job tomorrow, but we're going to go basically right to the gig. Yeah, just a quick bit of lawn mowing, and it's off to Connecticut. I know, I know, the other side jobs are better. There actually weren't any available. It was just landscaping today. Nobody else was offering anything. Okay, um, we're off on tour. I am so glad I got the van repaired. I'm really happy about that. I wonder, I kind of almost want to mess around with it. I wonder if it would take longer to get out to your, you know, outside gigs, out to Connecticut or New York, if the van is busted. I might almost just experiment with that, but... All right, Ridiculous Decorative Days. I know this is really exciting. It's a terrible gig, but we're off on tour. All righty, I don't even know how this works. Hartford, Connecticut. Yes, I'm sure I want to travel to Hartford, Connecticut. We do that. Oh, we get some XP for traveling. Oh, that's cool. Not much, but we got some. Uh, so we're in a whole new place now. I, I don't, you know, I don't know what goes on here. I wonder if the clothing stores have different stuff. There's some motels and hotels that we could go in and stay at and then trash. I don't really think we need to. We're going to be back tonight. This is an in-and-out kind of thing. But, oh, this is a tiny little town. 
Ooh, not much going on here. I, of course, just want to check out the clothing store. I want to see if there's anything different in these places. Not a lot. No, it's all pretty much variations on the same thing that we've seen before. That's cool. Anyone want a quick uh, perk me up here? Um, Brad, I know you don't really get into clothing per se, but is there anything you might like? Maybe some different shoes? No, I kind of like you in the heels, and I love the 3D glasses. Yeah, we're not we're not really going to change that out, Brad. Alicia, I just kind of fidgeted with you. Do I want something? Maybe I want something. No, God, I look amazing. Why would I change anything? Apart from a quick way of gaining inspiration. No, I um, I think we're good. Where where is our uh, where's our gig here? At Jody's Bar. Okay, well, there's it, it's only this one block. Apparently, Hartford, Connecticut is um, very, very tiny. But uh, we'll just uh, pull into Jody's Bar and show Connecticut what we got. Now, I have zero rep with you. P.S. You have a lovely bar. This is very, very cozy and intimate. I like this. Um, I have zero rep with you, but is there any chance I can book my own gig here? No. No, not at all. Uh, no bands here. No, I don't want to add the gig. I actually want to play the gig. Okay. New town. New audience. Let's rock this out. Now, what I want to do is I want to take out meh. And I want to put in my ankles thank you. And I want to move that up here. Now, it's only one point of quality better. But it's a little bit better. So we're going to do that. I think we keep everything else as is we almost didn't suck that's a 38 that's actually one of our best songs yeah rock your face off 2021 of course we're closing with that okay i think i think we're good hello connecticut we are the ridiculous decorative daves i've always wanted to do that that's great uh how are we doing here uh audience energy level is good but their interest isn't that good all right they're not um they're not that into fluffy pancake rock. I'm not sure why. Everyone loves pancakes. My ankles, thank you, they're pretty energetic about keeping their interest up a little bit. Closer to the spleen. Yeah, shut up, Brad. I know about your prog rock thing. Yeah, they are wicked into that. And then rock your face off, 2021. Hartford, Connecticut, or wherever the heck we are in Connecticut, you are getting your face rocked off. Well, we got a solid, moderately entertained, and I'm okay with that. Moderately entertained is better than not entertained. Slow night at the merchandise counter. We got all of 18 bucks for that, and Penge took eight of it. But check it out. Somebody drove all the way from Boston to see us. Somebody was following the van going, I totally have to see the ridiculous decorative days now that they're out on tour. And I, I think that person bought an extra shirt. They probably already had one, but they bought another one anyway. Let's check out the uh, analysis here. Wow, my ankles, thank you, did very well. Mm, everything did well, but that did exceptionally well. It has potential. I, I feel like that's a mechanic that's trying to talk to me. So many of these things seem like flavor when they put in these little phrases, but I think they're actually trying to say this is a really good song and you should play it more. Okay, cool. Um, Well, back to Boston then. Oh, and I can't auto go home. Usually I can just hit the H key and I go home. I think we actually have to drive there. Thank you for visiting. You're welcome. Uh, let's go back to Boston here. So I would like to go. Yep, thank you very much. Now, where's that going to put us? That puts, puts us in the next day. Okay, so we actually traveled overnight for that. Don't really need to do that. Well, I suppose the gig was kind of late. It probably is after midnight by the time we get home. So we do travel overnight for that. We're going to have to think about that for that New York trip. Can't really, um, I guess, well, it is a zero day. I, can't, I guess we can't afford to have a gig right after it. We don't right now, but you don't know what might pop up. Okay, what do we do with all this information? Well, I don't know yet, so I'm going to do another side job. The, literally the only place that is hiring is the cemetery, so I'm going to go landscape the cemetery. You don't know anyone buried at the cemetery. Uh, good. Thank you. I That makes me happy. I'm glad I don't have anyone buried at the ceremony, a cemetery rather, or ceremony, either way. Okay, landscape the cemetery that I don't know anyone is buried at. And then we've got yet another gig. Oh, I am just looking super goth now. Oh, landscaping a cemetery. I should have done this ages ago in red leather pants. This is just so goth. Well, back to Lauren's bar after our whirlwind tour of Connecticut here. Hi, hi, Lauren's bar, bartender person. Anything going on here? 
no, nothing that we can book for ourselves. Okay, um, we're very, very tired. We drove overnight to get here. I assume you're Lauren. Um, anyway, Lauren, we drove overnight to get here. We're very, very tired, but we're going to rock people's faces off now. All right, let's see what we can do back in our hometown after a moderately successful tour of exactly one place. Uh, interest level is not as high as I might like it to be. And energy level is a little low, too. It's kind of a slow night at Lauren's Bar here. We are very tired. We're probably not playing our best. We are probably exhausted. We just did basically 24 hours straight of playing and driving, so... We'll see how this all kinds of pans out. If I can get a mediocre out of this, I'll basically be okay with that. No, actually, we did very well. Extremely happy with our performance. Great. And we sold uh, five shirts. Awesome. We got 15 bucks for that. Great. We're happy. We're a little bit inspired. Not much. But we're a little bit inspired. We should probably get some more shirts. Can I order that directly from here? Uh, I cannot. I would have to go and, and get them actually at the shirt shop. How many do we have? We, have, we only got 20 left. We've sold 40 shirts. 39 in Boston. There's one guy in Connecticut who's got one of our shirts. Don't worry, Connecticut. We'll be we'll be back at some point. Our manager, Penge, is sure working on that. I have no, no doubt. Utmost confidence in Penge. Bright and early the next morning, and Gabriella is on the phone to me. What? When is your gig? Oh, it's another Battle of the Bands. Yeah, I'll always take those. Any chance to win that money? That is totally fine. Back to Lauren's Bar again. We are really getting some good rep with those guys. Yeah, I will totally book that. When is it? May 20th? Is that right after our New York gig? Because I, I, we got a kind of a long trip. No. Okay, those are back-to-back -back in Boston. That's fine. That's totally fine. I don't know if the game will account for travel time when it's offering me these gigs. So if I had a gig in, like, I don't know, Texas or whatever, somewhere that's really far away from Boston... And then I had a gig the next night in Boston. Would the game know that and say, oh, you really can't take that gig because you won't be back in time? Or would I just miss the gig and suffer some sort of reputation hit or something? I don't know. I'm going to go find another side job. And is there anyone playing tonight? What is it, Sunday? It is Sunday. Probably not. But let's let's check it out anyway. Is there anyone playing tonight that we can go and see, get a little inspiration? No, but we can see people every other day. Great, good. So there's nobody playing tonight, but we could get our inspiration way up by seeing all of these people during the week. Okay, um, Dave's got a plan. Dave's going to go do several days of side jobs, see a gig, side job, see a gig. And then maybe at the end of that, we can write a new song if our inspiration is up enough. Well, my first side job was coincidentally for Cody's printing, so we may as well buy some shirts while we're here. Uh, yeah, another 30. That should hold us for a good long time. We're not that popular yet. Okay, so that's done. Who can we see tonight? Uh, what's going on tonight? Oh, sorry, that's tomorrow night. Okay, we'll go back. We'll sleep overnight. And then we will continue this little path. Oh, hang on, though. The next day is a triple XP day. Apparently, it's the anniversary of Metallica's debut album. I'm kind of meh on Metallica. I mean, they're okay. They're not bad. They just don't thrill me. They're they're fine. They're totally fine. They're perfectly acceptable metal band. So, all right. Well, debut album Kill 'Em All was recorded today or released. May as well take advantage of the triple XP. There's no reason to toss that away. So we won't do a side job. We won't have time to see a gig, but we are going to practice because why wouldn't we? Now throw on. We probably shouldn't have bothered and rock your face off featuring Brad. We may as well get these up to snuff as they say. Oh, we're out of drumsticks. I did see your little red flag there, Brad. I thought we might be able to get through one practice session, but that's okay. We'll go buy you some things. And actually, while I say that, triple XP is triple XP. We don't have to practice. We just do anything, I would think, that gets us XP. So a side job will get us XP. What's going on around here? Um, handyman. Okay. Or Kane's Printing. Sure. Uh, Kane's Printing. Yeah, let's go over there. That'll be some XP, and it'll be triple. Well, we haven't seen this before. I've got a timed quest. I have to do this in three minutes. Pick up six bundles of shirts in three minutes, and I'll get 500 bucks. Okay, ready, set, go. <laughs> Let me
me just reiterate how happy I am that we repaired the van, otherwise that would not be possible. Yeah, a bunch of XP for there. Hey, triple XP is triple XP and a level up from Alicia. Cool. Why don't you just keep that good old stage presence ticking along there? What is your songwriting? 15 with a boost to 18? And you're basically terrible at everything else. Now, keep that stage presence going up. You are our lead singer. You are the face of the band. I mean, I'm really the face of the band because I've got the David Bowie tattoo. But you are kind of the uh, showman, if you will. All right, let's go deal with Brad's issues. And while we're here, Brad, you could probably use some new drum heads, too. You're getting a little low on those. Okay, uh, remind me what your drum kit itself is doing. Oh, quite a bit. Yeah, playing songwriting and stage presence. Yeah, we'll have we'll probably keep that. And then let's get uh, some drum heads. Oh, uh, anything really awesome here that might give us a nice little boost plus two stage presence. Don't hate that. Yeah, we've had those before too. Go ahead and have, I don't know, like five of those. We've got some money. It'll all work out. Um, let me check your symbols. I haven't bought you any new symbols in a while. Anything that might give you a nice little stage presence here? A little songwriting there. No. Oh, wow. Yeah. Have we had these before? The ZXT Pros? No, these are awesome. They're also, unfortunately, Brad, $1,500. So we're not doing that today. We're going to have to go on a lot longer tour to do that. Let's just get you some drumsticks and call it a day. There we go. Five of those. That's what you get. Uh, Rebecca and Ashton, anybody need some strings around here? You have quite a few. And Ashton, you have some you have some strings. Anything we could do with an effects processor for you? What are you rocking right now? The DBX266. And that is giving you what? Just a plus one playing. I think we could do better than that. Uh, there's a plus one stage presence right there. Yeah, they all seem to be plus ones. I'd actually rather you had the plus one stage presence than the plus one playing. Uh, where was the plus one playing? Let's sell that. You can have that 75 bucks back in your pocket there. And Alicia, you should be fine, and I should be fine too. Actually, speaking of effects processors, that's a plus one playing. Can we get anything that's got a... There we it. There it is. A plus one stage presence. And get that out of here. Okay. Good deal. Now, I think there is someone we can see tonight. Oh, it's the Discreet Humilities again. Yeah, we've played with these guys a bunch. Boy, I want to play this place. This looks great. Kind of reminds me of the Orpheum in Boston, except this looks bigger. The Orpheum is a hole in the wall, but it's a beautiful hole in the wall and a great place to see a show. But Discreet Humilities, I mean, you got the job done. I'm not denying it. Oh, and we still get that triple XP because it's still the same day. Boy, that's a lot of XP we earned today. I'm glad we didn't just practice. I'm glad we actually went out and did something a little more proactive and productive 21 inspiration uh whoever it was alicia you'll be maxed out anyway oh and i'm ready for a level up oh we may be able to get a good song written by the end of the day if i could get a level up out of brad that'd be perfect so all right my stage presence is basically terrible let's good thing i'm hidden behind a keyboard let's get that moving up and i'm just gonna tick one more into songwriting I'm just, it's not all about Brad. It can't be all about Brad. Now, what we will do is close the day with some practice. We don't really need to sleep. We just need to do something that'll get us overnight. So sure, uh, start the practice for one day and we're gonna call this taking a nap. Oh, and I still got XP out of that. That was awesome, or extra XP, I think. That was a lot of XP that I just generated. Uh, Simon, uh, excuse me, Penge, you're on the phone. What's up? Uh, oh, we're back to Jody's. Oh, Connecticut loves us. Connecticut loves us, yes. When is it? Uh, June 2nd. That's fine. We've got plenty of time for that. Oh, and um, and Manchester, New Hampshire. Oh, that's right up the road. You can do that in about an hour, hour and a half, maybe. Uh, nine songs, though. Ooh, okay. All right, this is going to be a 100 venue capacity. Getting paid a measly 62 bucks, but we're in there. Ooh, Penge may not be a very skilled manager, but he's getting the job done. A couple of days later, and it is now Wednesday, we've done some side jobs, and we saw a couple of other bands at the theater there, and I think possibly for the first time, everybody is maxed out on inspiration. Every single member of the Ridiculous Decorative Daves is fully inspired at this point. We have got to take advantage of that. We have got to write a really, really killer song. Brad, 
Don't let me down on this one. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking 21 lyrics from Brad. 11 on Brad there. Brad, I know it's not all about you, but darn, you are a really good songwriter, man. Uh, would I see another 10 up here from Brad? If I can even put a couple of these big numbers together, this could be a huge song. Gotta start with that 21 lyrics. That's just mammoth. What does that leave me with? I could come in. Oh, I can get Brad's rhythm in here. We're already up to a 31 and we're just getting started. I could still keep, this might be an all about, all about Brad song, because I could work that three that I've got banked down there, but I could put in my melody at a five, but that won't work with Brad's three. What other melodies do we have? My five is still the best. If I put that in, does that leave me with anything? No, sadly not. All right, and I know the comment section has reminded me that I don't need to put all four parts in, but obviously I want to get as many points as I can. So if I don't put a riff in, I'm at 36. Okay, what else could I do? If I did Brad's riff here, does that leave me any melody? That leaves me a one, still at 36. Okay, I mean, it's six of one, half dozen of the other. I'd rather save the five... Maybe we can use that again later. And is there anything else here? I want to bank this 11 lyrics here. I want to keep that, definitely. And anything else? Really nice, good number here. A 7? Uh, yeah, you know what? You can have this 3 back, and we'll take that 7. That might come in handy. Ah, uh, that almost works with that rhythm, too. Not quite, though. Okay, anything else that I want to bank while I'm in the neighborhood? No. Threes, fours, twos. Yeah, I think I'll keep what I've got down here. Okay, this is a 36. It's going to be one of our better songs. So we got to make this rock. I'm going to make this a medium energy song. Now that we're getting into these gigs where we have a longer set list, I want to make sure we have a little more variety here. Make sure we've got good songs for all the energy levels. We are going to call this That Guy in CT. I am um, about 94% sure that CT is the postal abbreviation for Connecticut, and there's no chance in hell that I can spell Connecticut. So we're going to call it That Guy in CT. It's kind of an ode to that one person who bought a shirt. We basically have one fan in Connecticut, and we're writing a song about him because we're coming back, man. We're going to come back there someday. So we'll finish writing this song. The songwriters get a little bit of XP. We could, we may as well practice it. We're not going to be able to take it out right now, but we may as well practice it and get through to the next two gigs. So my ankles, thank you, can come off. We're good at that. I'll leave Rock Your Face Off featuring Brad just to get that last point in there. And uh, sure, put in Please Buy Our Shirts. Yeah, we haven't, um, we haven't practiced that one uh, basically ever. So uh, let's go ahead and practice that thank you very much guys we've got a gig i know that we all got some xp and obviously we tanked our inspiration yeah we completely tanked it that did take a lot out of us it's a good song okay we have done every job in town there are no side jobs available so i guess it's just off to the gig this is going to be a very busy weekend for the ridiculous decorative days i just kind of want to pound through this first gig so we can get on the road to new york so it's kind of probably a good idea that we're not uh, not the headliner. For the opening band, we can kind of cut out early and get on the road. And let's not mess with success here. Just keep the same set list right now. This will be fine. Let's go ahead and start this gig. Rock it out. We got to get out quickly, gas up the van, and get on the road to New York. And this may not be our best show. We're having a real hard time with the energy level here. Really having a hard time with the audience keeping their energy up. Getting into closer to the spleen, that is getting the job done right there. Shut up, Brad. Stop looking so smug. And rock your face off 2021. Obviously, everyone is having their faces all rocked off right now. So, you know, that's a good song. Oh, I forgot this was a battle of the bands. I totally spaced on that. Oh my god, we won again. We won again. It was close this time. Ooh, Encouraging Waters really put up a good show. I totally spaced that this was a battle of the bands. I thought it was just a regular gig. Okay, everyone was extremely happy. There was a talent scout from a record label. All right, and now that I know all these little statements and sentences aren't just flavor, that might actually have some sort of importance with the game. 
okay, wow, great night for us. But unfortunately, we got to just grab our check, grab our little plaque, and get out the door. We got a road trip. Oh, no, it's okay. Everybody relax. Everybody will relax. Tomorrow night's gig is right here in Boston. It's fine. It's next weekend that we're in New York. Next weekend. Okay. Ashton, I see you got a level up there. Cool. Um, why don't you do a couple into stage presence, but I do want to keep your repair ticking up. And you actually have that weird business skill. Put a point into that. Yeah, put a point into that. You're not the star of the show, Ashton. I mean, you've got the kiss thing going on with the star tattoo and all that, but you're not the star of the show. It's mostly me and Rebecca and Alicia. And people are gazing at Brad because he works mostly naked. You're kind of left of center, if we're honest, Brad. Well, goodness, we're going to start running out of wall space to put our many, many awards over here. So Battle of the Bands, do I like that there? Yeah, you know what? We're going to have a ton of them, so we may as well uh, put that one there as, as anywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wish we could throw a coat of paint on these walls. All right, let's just close out the evening by practicing our new song. Oh, no, we lost our gig. We're too popular for Lauren's Bar. We've achieved six popularity. We gained three because we won that Battle of the Bands. We're no longer popular enough to do a Battle of the Bands. Wow. The ridiculous decorative Daves are too popular. Hi, Paul. Yeah, you're paying attention to me now, aren't you? What's your gig? I'll take a look. What's your gig, Paul? Saturday? Okay, that's... Ooh. Yeah, we're going to be... uh. I think we're coming back from New York, but we'll see what we can do with you. Yeah, I, you know, I'll do it. I'll totally do it. I mean, it's a gig. If nothing else, it'll just be a little XP, a little inspiration, sell some shirts. That's fine. Okay, band meeting, everyone. Band meeting, band meeting. Everyone in the, in the kitchen. Oh, no, I bumped into our Battle of the Bands Award. Our second one, I might add. Yeah, we um we got a good thing going on here with the Ridiculous Decorative Daves. I think we are so on the right track now. The set list is coming together. People are digging the songs. We're good at playing them. We're good at stage presence. We are hitting other cities. There is a guy in Connecticut that has one of our shirts. We have one fan in Connecticut. We love him so much, we wrote a song about him. And by the time we get back to Connecticut, we might actually be decent at playing it. So, guys, you know what? Here's here's Dave's ultimate thing for this band meeting. Alicia, Ashton, Brad, Rebecca, just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep doing what you're doing. It's working out well. We're going to get over to New York next weekend. It's going to be a blast. We are going to have New York City see the ridiculous decorative Daves for the very first time. It's going to be awesome. So everyone, just keep with the plan. Stay on track here. That is an excellent place to call it on Rising Star 2 for today. Of course, we'll be back with more of this next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of the circleless nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Bugs are inherently stupid, and they get in places and they can't get out. You know what places they get in? Things that are wide open that don't have screens over them. It's a piece of mesh. We figured this out like a hundred years ago. What is wrong with the British, the Irish? I'm just going to keep shooting Hildegrad until she goes away, which is my response to most nuns, really. So now the pit of death is carbon dioxide, polluted oxygen, polluted water, and urine. I've just made it just a little bit worse for everyone down here.